the research work I did today is um, influenced by Tree of Thought. Okay, so Tree of Thought, how many of you uh, have seen, basically, we have, we start off here, and we have a, um, the first task, the, the problem, I guess I should say, the problem is what's here in that very first, first, first uh, realm. So our first problem is that we're trying to figure out how, how we want to do this women's fiction. Okay, so we have a problem. Now, how many of you know that, pro- like, would agree that many problems have multiple solutions, right? Okay, so we have three possible solutions here. The next step that we want to have happen is like, let's pretend that this is, I don't know, three story ideas, kind of hinting to what analysis I've already did. The AI has the ability to go, okay, this is the problem. These are the three things I have to consider. And we give it some type of criteria to consider to consider this uh, solution one, solution two, and here we'll do solution three. So we could have three different solutions here. And then what we want the AI to do is we want to evaluate these solutions for the tree part. So it's a tree because it's kind of like upside down. So when I saw this drawing in the the white papers and everything like that, I realized that we are already kind of doing this with our mega prompting and with our, but we are doing the analysis. Like we have been doing the analysis. And now I've just realized that the AI can actually do this analysis. So let's imagine our story problem is a women's fiction story. And we have three story things to consider. I want the AI to go ahead and look at these and to visualize or imagine the end results of where these could go and then determine which one of the three is actually the strongest. I used um, ChatGPT, first of all, for the prompt, for this prompt in 3.5, because I have a tendency to jump into four and I'm trying to use 3.5 a little bit more um, just so that, uh, because I know a lot of you don't always have as much access to uh, four. So here is my prompt for 3.5. Give me five detailed ideas for a women's fiction serialized saga. So this is my keyword of what I'm looking for. That will be five episodes of five chapters each, with each episode having a clear cliffhanger at the end that leads into the next one. So I'm going to hop over into OpenAI. I'm in OpenAI here. I go to the chat and let me go back to my history here. Okay, so this was the first one, and I ran it in GPT-4. Um, I ran it in GPT-4 because 4 has better reasoning, and but I did also run it in 3.5. Now, here's what's interesting. In my system prompt, and all of these prompts are in the notes for you guys already, so don't worry about that. Ideas for a women's fiction serialized saga. That'll be five episodes and five chapters. You'll notice I didn't do five ideas. I decided three was enough for, the, for our purposes because I liked elements of all three of these. So these are the exact same things that you've already that we already went over, just so that you guys are aware of them. And then I said, reading the three ideas for the women's fiction serialized saga, please rank each idea from one to 10, with 10 being the best for fitting the brief of serialized fiction. To be so so I'm I'm asking, I'm telling it what the task is. And then I have to define what that criteria, like if I just leave it like that, the AI could decide what 10 means. So I actually explain. To be a 10, the idea must not have contradictions, must have a serious problem in each episode that connects to previous episodes, and must be exciting to readers. Please explain your reasoning with specific examples from each idea. Idea one got a nine. And what's interesting is that the only reason this idea is not a 10 is that there's no direct connection between the episode's cliffhangers. Now, we've already evaluated all these things. Isn't that something that we noticed ourselves when we were reading those things that they don't necessarily connect into like a building crescendo of problems? So that's a, that's a issue there. So it says that the, the episodes are linked with problems carrying over from one episode to the next, such as the family's declining influence and resentment from the former in-laws, but there's no direct connection between the cliffhangers. However, the overall family drama and the need to resolve it keep the story exciting and engaging. So the four gave it a nine. It gave echoes of the past 8.5, and it explains why. Um, This one, a slight deduction comes from the fact that some episodes feel more like standalone stories rather than directly leading to the next cliffhanger. And then The Road Home, rating number eight. This one uh, said the cliffhangers are less connected. So it gave the same reason for all of them, and it, it just made a value judgment. This was four. Let me show the history, and let me show you what happened with 3.5. When I did 
the exact same prompt, uh, it refused to rank them. It said, I don't have personal opinions or the capability of providing rankings. So I wanted to show this because there's a way that you fix this. At the very end, it gave in conclusion, idea one seems to have the strongest connection between episodes, so it adheres well to the brief. Ideas two and three can also fit, depending on the execution as they include exciting plots, but the lack of stronger connections between episodes may, may require further strengthening. So both four and 3.5 identified that these episodes aren't, there's no cohesion across the episodes. And we can fix that. The first thing was identifying the problem, right? Um, and it's still both of them like one. Now I wanted it to actually rank them. So here's what I did at the very bottom here. I put a dinkus and I say, you can read ideas for serialized fiction and rate them on a scale of one to 10 on how well they fit the brief that a user gives you. Now suddenly it gives us a ranking. <laughs> so this is what's funny about working with AI. Sometimes the artificial intelligence will tell you, I can't. And the truth is it can, you just have to tell it that it can in the system prompt. So you can kind of overrule it. Um, in some instances, people have used this to jailbreak around content restrictions, which I don't recommend doing um, because that'll, that'll, get, that'll, that'll be a problem. So this one actually ranked number one the least, GPT 3.5. When, when I said that it could rank it, now all of a sudden it likes the third idea the best. Um, and it says that it, it ranked it that way because it has a clearest story arc and most satisfying resolution to the story with Poe. Since we so often work with uh, 3.5, let's go ahead and work with Poe for this. Plus I think Poe is just a better, he's, he's doing some better stuff. Okay, so. Again, I brought in ideas for women's fiction serialized saga. The only difference to the prompt that I made for Poe that I didn't have for 3.5 is I use these brackets. So you'll see idea one has this bracket here. And then I ended it right here with a slash and an idea of one. This is because in Anthropics documentation, it regularly shows tagging. I don't use the alligator, the less than or equal than because it messes up with Poe's interface. Poe, uh, adds in stuff like this, where if I click on echoes of the past, because you see how it's highlighted, it will autofill a prompt, which I don't like because it doesn't hover up on what it's gonna do. If I click this button, it's gonna say, it's gonna automatically fill the prompt of, tell me everything you know about echoes of the past. And then it's gonna tell me about that. So that's the, that's a little bit of a, I don't like it as far as post functionality goes. So that's why I use the square brackets when I'm tagging things inside of Claude prompts for Poe.com specifically. So this one also ranked them, came up with different criteria. Uh, and I think it's interesting that each AI, 3.5, 4, and Claude, they all ranked a different idea as their top one. 4 likes number 1, 3.5 likes number 3, and Claude likes number 2. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Which means, I mean, this is a subjective thing. There's no right answer. Not really. Um, and by the way, this isn't true tree of thought. This is just a step in the tree of thought. A real tree of thought prompt would include programming with Python, where I wouldn't manually be doing these things. It would be auto, auto running all of the generations and all of the down the thing. I just don't code that yet. So I do it manually. So here are my rankings for the three. Idea one from Claude, it says, it's got a central problem. However, some of the plot points seem overly dramatic. <laughs> the fire that engulfs the family home and undermine the believability. The cliffhangers connect the episodes, but lack some lack nuance. Overall, a solid idea, but could use refinement. It liked number two. It, it likes the forbidden romance subplot, adding an extra layer of drama. The cliffhangers are effective in propelling the reader into the next episode. The idea shows the most cohesion and nuance with the family drama and secrets unfolding at a believable pace. And then idea three is the road home, which it liked this. It relies too heavily on uncovering hidden diaries and long lost connections, which undermines some of the believability. I think this is great analysis. These are the exact kind of things that I would think about if I was analyzing my plots. What about the rest of you? For those of you who are plot people. How are my pantsers feeling in the house right now? I know this is kind of the antithesis of pantsing, but in some ways it's not because we're just, we're exploring with story ideas. 